Delight. Soul Delight exclusive with DJ Leash. Album number two, is that in the making? Ooh, you know what? At the moment, um, I'm making a lot of music. I'm making lots of different types of music. But recently, I have been thinking it's time to start working on album number two, which would be like a soul album. Like last year, I signed a publishing deal to write some dance music. Nice. It's really good. It's connected with me with some really good producers. I was expecting some of the track to come out um, at the later part of last year, um, but they'll probably come out during the course of next year. Mm-hmm. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to do something different. But yeah, bringing it back to sort of soul R and B vibe. I've been recording well since I finished the first album. To be honest with you, you know, you get ideas for songs and you sort of record them down. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think yeah, it seems time to start going through those songs, deciding what's going to be part of the album, what what needs going over again, and yeah, how to look at the post to album very nice so do you, do you think that would be released towards the end of this year possibly or would you be looking at next year uh, to me kind of like the first album it took me two years to make mm. um, so I just want it to be right so I kind of know when it's finished um, sure. which again I think is, is the nice thing about being an independent artist in the you can take the time to get it right. There's not sort of those outside pressures. But it would be nice if it could be to the end of this year. Let's show some different sides of me. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of dancing music and writing it off in that. So I'm sure when I bring it back to themselves, some of that will come into it as well. Mm. So, so when you were signed to do the house music, how did how did that come about? Basically. Um, I met a producer through a friend of mine, Claire Evans, who's a really good singer over here. She makes punk music at the moment um, with a group called Wonderlust, so make sure you check them out. But before that, Claire used to do a lot of dancing music, so she kind of brought me into that world through this producer who ended up being signed with the same publishing company that I signed with. Nice. In a nutshell, that's how it happened. Back in the day, you were in a group called Dark Roses. Do you still keep in touch with the other guys from Dark Roses? You know what? I have to admit, I haven't spoken to them for a good, good few months now. Jay, who was another sort of lead singer in the group, yeah, he's a family man, man. Nice. Um, Angelo's still writing music. And Ash, um, the Asian guy from the mm-hmm. group, He's gone on to sing in Bollywood films. Oh wow! Um, and you've performed with some pretty top UK artists as well. Um, some of the ones that people would know from Australia would be Omar and Alicia Laverne. What was that like doing that? Um, it was amazing to sing at a jazz cafe because obviously when I was um, sort of coming up and, and thinking about singing, I'd often go to good places. So I've seen all kinds of people sing there. So to sing in the same place as them, and when you go backstage to change, you've got all these people's pictures there. It kind of just reminds you that you know those people that you aspired to mm. now you're singing on the same stage as they were singing on. So it's nice on that level, and then to be inspired by someone like Omar who. On a record is amazing, but live is just on the next level again. It, it, it's just it's, it's exciting. I suppose that's why I do music. More than to sell millions of records, it's to have moments like that. Who who would be someone that you would like to work with? You know what? I think near the top of the list um, would be Mariah Carey. Not only because I think she's probably the best studio artist that there is, in terms of being able to get a vocal on a record that's just flawless. Um, I think she's often overlooked for her writing. You know, she writes most of her songs, her lyrics are strong, her melody is really strong, so I think, you know, I, I stand to learn a lot. Give a shout out to everyone um, that supports on Facebook, Twitter, everybody that supports Mixed Bosses. So delight. So delight.